Hi everybody, I'm Li Jing saying hello to you from New York City. Um, I'm also Chinese, so I want to say hi in Chinese. Ni hao. Um, this past four weeks has really changed my life because I just accidentally entered a global TV host contest called Paradise Hunter. Since then, I've received an overwhelming amount of support from all over the world and I've been voted at number one, top two in America, and top four in the world. I've received more than 11,000 votes from all over the world, and uh, my voting link has been shared on Facebook for more than 1,100 times, which is almost like a 10 million visitors website. As the only Asian in the current world's top 50, and the only minorities in the world's top 20, I also want to ask, some of the most powerful women in the world about their success advice and what's their strategy for me to win this contest. So uh, let's go to the 2010 Power Women Awards in New York City and take a look. So I'm here with Andrea Mitchell and uh, my idol and a great journalist. Oh, so sweet. Thank you. Oh, Andrea, and we both work for MDC before. Uh, the contest is called Paradise Hunter. And it has uh, some, uh, almost 700 applicants from 21 countries. So it's extremely competitive. And in our business, in your business, also very competitive. Uh, how do you stand out out of so many competitors? You always have to just do more homework and work harder. I mean, that's the way. And always accept assignments even when you don't expect, you know, even the smallest special to come. The smallest assignment, you never know how it's going to turn out. Great. Thank you so, so nice much. Nice to meet you. Nice to see you. Thank you. Thank you so Thank much you. for having your support. I work harder like you. Congratulations. Good luck. We're both immigrants. I'm from China and uh, I'm from Slovenia. Yes. So, um, and I'm also in the middle of a contest called Global uh, TV Contest called Paradise Hunter. And right now I'm the only Asian woman in world's top 50. So I wanted to hear from you, another successful immigrant. What's your advice to, in order to be successful in a very competitive environment? Work hard, don't give up, and listen yourself. Be yourself, and go ahead. Just don't give up. Thank you. Thank you. You too. So you are a very experienced, award-winning journalist. What's your advice for me to win this contest? You gotta work your ass off, you know? I mean, you've gotta like really go for it and put everything against it. Uh, I think, you know, find a plan, pursue it, stick to it, and don't worry about what anybody says. Uh, success is a journey, not a destination. Yeah, you know, I mean, that's the interesting thing you find. I didn't set out to do what I'm doing right now. No, I, I thought I was going to write books, but I ended up on television. So sometimes a turn, a twist is a good thing. I love what I do and I love where I am. But, you know, the first person who tells you no, don't listen to them. You've just got to keep on working at it and trying. I think the women I see who do so well, they're always very incented to follow their own dream. I think the best encouraging words that I have for you is be yourself because everybody else is already taken. I'm in a global TV host contest called Paradise Hunter mm -hmm. and I'm the only Asian woman in World Top 50 right now. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Um, what's your advice? What's the strategy for me to win? Um, I think not to think about your ethnicity and just focus on yourself and your strengths and your weaknesses and to educate people um, about your culture and to learn about other cultures. Oh, thank you. So are you. Thank you. How do you like to be the power woman? You know, I think, I think most women I know are incredibly powerful. There's something just about being a woman that makes you kind of steadfast. What's your advice to me, to the Paradise Hunter host? I would say, you know, to again, really just feel good about yourself. Don't let anybody else define you or, or say that you're less than. Always remember your power. Great. All right. Thank you. Thank you.
Congratulations. Thank you. I mean, take advantage of your strengths, really figure out, promote your strengths, and really um, highlight what your, uh, the differences you have with everybody else who's competing. What, what makes you different? What makes you unique from everybody else? You know, in the Asian culture, also, it's like very, like, humble, you know, not to, like, stand out and present you. But this contest is almost like the opposite of Asian culture. Especially so, when it comes to Asian women, yes. I know, I know. So, uh, so what what do you think about that? What do you, you know, want to do? Like, you're also in TV business. Yes. Yeah, it's hard. I mean, I remember when I first started off, when I, as a little kid, I was very shy. I stood in the back of the room. I wanted to sit in the back of the room in the class. I never raised my hand. I never spoke up. But you, when you, I found myself in the situation where I had to lead, and I, I believe leadership um, is best if led by example. So I forced myself. You have to force yourself to be, get out there, to speak up. Growing up in China, a 10 by 10 room, I never ever thought one day I could be voted number one in America to be a TV host in my second language. So this is not just a dream job, but also uh, a journey I wanted to share with everybody and to inspire others to follow their dreams because if I can do this, you can see your dream is possible as well. I want to thank everybody who has been voting for me for the past four weeks and thank you for your comments, encouragement, believe in me. And also I want to thank Paradise Hunter for organizing this amazing contest and giving not just me but everybody a hope, a dream job and inspiration. And I also want to thank all the fellow hunters because with you, I feel this is a great dream, a goal shared by so many of the friends that I haven't met. I hope you'll keep voting for me, sharing the message, keep dreaming, keep following your heart. Okay, so enjoy the journey. I will see you soon. Bye.